Katie Fan does not pull any punches. She's now first uh, in the Georgia case. She really came on in the defense of Fannie Willis, as she should, based on uh, what they did to Fannie Willis back in Georgia. Today, or recently, she's talking about abortion and what occurred in Arizona, going back to 1864, putting women back in their places. You know how these people think? Well, she was having none of it. And I'm really glad in the way she spoke about it as a journalist to let folks really understand what exactly these troglodytes and their sycophants and Trump sycophants are doing in uh, Arizona. We're not talking about rank and file, folks. We're talking about the leadership who are going completely against the vast majority of what Americans say that they want. Uh, take a listen to this, and then we'll take a take it on the other side. Stripping women of their rights to life-saving health care using a draconian law. Think about it. 160 years ago, when this law was originally enacted, Arizona was a territory. Women had no power. And Vice President Harris, she would have been a slave. According to the Guttmacher Institute, an estimated 18 million women do not have abortion access in their state. But here's the thing. This isn't 1864. It's 2024. Women wield power. They hold office. And when they speak out, they are heard, like Arizona State Senator Eva Birch, who shared her personal abortion story this week with a stirring reminder that the real power is in the ballot. A couple weeks ago, I had an abortion, a safe, legal abortion here in Arizona for a pregnancy that I very much wanted. A pregnancy that failed, like many of my pregnancies before it, an embryo that was dying and a miscarriage that was destined to happen. Somebody took care of me. Somebody gave me a procedure so that I wouldn't have to experience another miscarriage, the pain, the mess, the discomfort. And now we're talking about whether or not we should put that doctor in jail. This is outrageous that we would even dignify the consideration of this type of ban. A ban drafted when women had no say, when Arizona was not a state. This isn't what the people of Arizona or the people of this country want. We're talking about a small number of really extreme political leaders calling the shots for everybody else. Republicans don't want this. Independents don't want this. Democrats don't want this. We have to look at who our elected leaders are. The time is now. It's done. I've had enough. The people of Arizona have had enough. We are electing pro-choice candidates in November. Watch it happen. Joining us now is Arizona Democratic State Senator Eva Birch. Senator, there really is nothing that I can say to follow up after you delivered that incredibly heartfelt, such raw emotion, because it is something that is so intimate and personal to you. But I'm going to offer a small correction to what you said. Republicans did want this. They wanted this. The Republicans wanted this. But now it is squarely the dog with its teeth firmly on the bumper of that car. They have caught the car. So now they want to backpedal like Carrie Lake and pretend like this is so outrageous and this is not what they intended it to be. How do we hold them accountable for them wanting Trump being the architect of the fall of Roe and the Republicans being responsible for you having to stand in front of the world and say and explain what happened to you. Katie Fang nailed it. And I like the way uh, Katie Fang actually corrected Eva Birch, the Democratic senator uh, who had to have an abortion. Because uh, while the senator said Republicans don't want this, Democrats don't want this, independents don't want this, she wanted to make it clear that no, there is a party who wants it. And you know why they want it? Because they support it. They support it for their fewer. They're supporting these policies 
because those people, the evangelicals who support their Fuhrer, Donald Trump, is what that is what they want. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled that Donald Trump is trying to walk it back. Don't be fooled that Kerry Lake is trying to walk it back. Don't be fooled that all these people that finally realize that no, 60 something to 70 something to 80 something percent of Americans say no to this. And don't be fooled into giving these people a break, a permission to vote against your own interests. Act, react, and re react. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.